Today I'll be demonstrating on how to do the incline dumbbell bench press. This workout exercises the upper and middle sections of your pectoral muscles, your anterior deltoids, and your triceps. All bench press exercises can be dangerous, so having a spotter is important. Although this exercise isn't as dangerous because you have individual weights, it is important to have a spotter because you can go too low on your reps and it can pull your chest muscles. But you don't always need a spotter for this exercise because you can easily drop the dumbbells on the floor if you encounter a dangerous situation. Breathing techniques in proper form. To start off doing this exercise, start off with a lightweight, 10 to 15 pounds, just to be safe. And then as you get stronger, or if this weight is too light, you can always grab a heavier weight. So to start off, have your feet flat on the floor, like so. And then have your back on the support, nice and flat. You don't want to be arching your back. Then you want to put your weights about where your nipples are. Then drop the weights down so you can feel the stretch in your chest and then push up about shoulder width apart from each other and then back down. Breathing te techniques, you'll want to inhale on the way down then exhale going up like so. And 10 pounds is a little too light for me so I'm going to grab the heavier set of dumbbells and show you a set. So I'm using 25 pounds on each, so if this is too heavy, you can always go lighter, or if it's too easy, you can go heavier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's one set. In between sets, you want to take about a 30 second to a minute break, and then you can do another set. There are a few differences between this workout with the dumbbells and the one with the barbell. So the advantages of the barbell workout is that you can have more weight. Some people can do reps with over 500 pounds, whereas the dumbbells, you, don't, you can't really use as much weight because it's pretty unsteady. But using dumbbells, it's actually great for increasing the strength in your stabilizing muscles. At first, when you first start this workout, you may find that the weights are wobbly when you're doing reps. But don't worry about this. After you do this workout for a while, your muscles will get stronger and the weights will seem more and more stable. When doing the incline dumbbell bench press, if you want size, like bulky muscles, you'll want to do less reps in a set and a heavier weight. So about six to eight reps in a set. And like me, I'd probably use like a 45 pound weight or so. And if you want to tone your chest muscles, you'll want to use a lighter weight like the 25s I have. And you'll want to do more reps in a set. So 10 to 15 reps in a set. So usually you want to take breaks in between sets because you don't want to let your muscles cool down too much. So don't go take like a 10 minute break and eat like a Krispy Kreme donut or something. You will want to take a short break just to let your muscles like relax a little bit and the lactic acid recede. And then you can pump out some more reps. While doing this exercise, you'll want to keep the weights above your nipples like this because that's where you're gonna get the best results for the upper part of your chest and the middle part of your pecs. If you go too low it works different muscles it's more core in your arms and if you go too high above your head it's gonna be more of a shoulder exercise. Nowhere, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna demonstrate the barbell incline bench press so you can see the differences between the two. So here's my spotter He's going to make sure I don't kill myself over here. Me over your head. <laughs> so here we go. 
So when you're doing it with the barbell, you're going to notice you can only go as deep as your chest allows. Like, you can't go any lower. Your chest is right there. But you can have a lot more weight. And still, like, it's a lot easier. The weight's not wobbling around and stuff. So it's a lot easier. Whereas the dumbbells, if you have too much weight, you can see how it's like kind of wobbly and off balance. And you can also get really deep and you can feel the stretch. It's a great stretch. Well, that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in next time for a demonstration on bolts and chin-ups. Stay safe and farewell. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Tune in next time so Brad can pump you up.